cooking class in Ubud. So that's how we found this and it's where we're at right now. This right here? One thing you will definitely see in Bali is a million of these little offering trays. They place a fresh one three times per day outside of every house and business as they pray three times a day. And there's usually like incense in there and like maybe some coconut treat, like cracker, a little offering. It's like a mini shrine and they're making them here in this uh, fresh market. And these are literally everywhere. That was that. That was pretty interesting, to say the least. Right in the center of Wood downtown. Update. Family who's not here. Chicken satay time. And I'm realizing that this is the first time I've actually cooked in... Um, 30 years. <laughs> Whoa, easy there, Dad. 30 years. I'm, 20, I'm only 29 and a half. That's not even possible. Yeah. You're acting 30 today. Uh, anyway, chicken saute is coming, which is uh, one of my favorite Balinese foods. And of course, this is a real Balinese traditional kitchen that we're cooking in. Exclusive, exclusive experience. So, who saute. wanna cut the chicken? So, you just cut like this one, yeah? This okay. size. Um, yes. So and Yes. I've never seen this that tall fruit stack yeah. before uh -uh. in my number of Bali months. So it's the celebration, the last day. Yeah. It's every six months. Every She's six months. apparently walking like 20 minutes away from here. To the to the main temple. Yeah, to, to bring that special offering, special blessing. Wow, sweet. Anyways, if you're just tuning in, we are in a real Balinese village and these are each, these are different uh, homes. These are traditional Balinese homes. Each home has like a series of buildings and each building has its own purpose, like the temple, the kitchen, the sleeping area. In summary, so far, Balinese culture is very rich. You know, that's what it's, Bali is famous for, the rich culture. And their rituals are so like complicated with the, off the daily offerings three times a day and the praying. And she was telling us like, when babies are born, they can't touch the ground for the first like three months or something. And they can't wash their hair for the first 18 months. And they believe in reincarnation. So every time a baby is born, the healer will tell which uh, ancestor it has been reincarnated into the baby. Anyways, a rich Balinese Hinduism culture. And very interesting. I highly recommend that you do this. Um, village cooking traditional uh, living experience anyways back to cooking that's just getting started
all the cooking. Aprons are off. Here's what we have. showed everything being made and tried. Of course, this is the freshest Balinese meal I've ever had, for sure. And um, fixing to be one of the best meals ever. Home cooked, haven't done this before. And the satay. That's amazing. One year, I did Norwegian. This fish. And I made the marinated salmon plank and kind of just marinated salt. Like mm. Mm. Amazing. Mm. That's pretty good. Mm. This is very good. Oh, wow. The tempeh, the corn fish. fritter. Yeah. So fresh. Thank you again, Putu, yeah. for yeah. cooking. Yeah. And um, the link to this whole cooking experience is going to be below. So I'm going to munch this meal. And mm. that's all, folks. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. See you here. It's a must hit. Do not sleep on it. See you in Bali. Mm. Thank you. Cheers.